I want to move on now to a massive police investigation, which is continuing to unfold in on Old Saybrook right now. This morning, people heard two different explosions. Fox, uh, Fox 61's Matt Karen dug into the business's background and their records. He joins us live in Old Saybrook to try and paint a picture of what's happening here. Hi, Matt. Hi guys, a multi-agency criminal investigation is underway right here at Lab Direct LLC behind me here on Center West Road. Just a few minutes ago, this road was opened up, so we're able to get a closer look. But despite investigators remaining tight-lipped about exactly what has been going on here, we were able to dig into the business records and learn more about their owner. Located in the industrial district of Old Saybrook, Labs Direct LLC stores, sells, and ships dangerous chemicals direct to consumer. Kind of crazy to hear about. Interesting, but crazy. The investigation began around 4 p.m. Wednesday. By 9 a.m. Thursday, two loud controlled detonations of explosive chemical mixtures. Kind of interesting way to start my morning. State records show the business was organized in 2020, owned by this man, Richard Carboni of Waterford, whose LinkedIn profile says he's democratizing the pursuit of science. Carboni has been actively engaging with amateur chemists on online forums, where he says he fell in love with chemistry just out of natural curiosity and exploration. LabDirect's website lists hundreds of chemicals, metals, and acids for sale, many highly toxic and potentially deadly, like cyanide, mercury, chloroform, and ammonium. It was definitely surprising to see something that close happening right next to us. No evacuations were necessary, but the road was blocked and some businesses were forced to close. Today we've been closed. They said we can go back to work at noon, but so far, as you can see, Roads still closed, won't let us in. Despite calling in federal and state resources, the old Saybrook police are leading the investigation. They remain tight-lipped. Nearby business owners say they're intrigued to know more. Nothing that would indicate on the surface that there's any illegal or illicit uh, things going on there. No strange, you know, we don't have odd people coming up and down the road. According to Carboni's online posts, he went back to school for chemistry during the pandemic. He started this business originally online on eBay, but it quickly expanded into this warehouse behind us. For now, we're live in Old Saybrook. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.